Barbara, okay. Mariah Carey's good friend, yeah. spoke to her yes, 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 right before yeah. the show this morning. Yeah, I have what been, happened? Okay, I have been interviewing Mariah for many years, and we have become friendly. I did the, the first interview with her twins, remember, mm -hmm. who are now yeah. 16 mm -hmm. months old, a boy and a girl. So I called Mariah this morning before the... Uh, oh, look at them, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and Daddy, Daddy is Daddy is Nick Cannon. Yes. So yes. just before we went on the air, uh, I called Mariah, and I'm I'm going to read from my notes. She said that what you heard was troublesome, but that's not what really worried her. She said that when Nikki walked off the set, multiple people heard Nikki say, "If I had a gun, I would shoot." Bitch. And she said there were staff members who heard her, hairdressers, producers, other people. She said she's very concerned. She is with her twins. She doesn't feel that anything would happen. I'm quoting now, but Nikki is unpredictable. And Mariah says she can't take a chance, and she has hired extra security. Oh my Nikki has not apologized, but they have since been together at meetings with producers and judges. There was a meeting yesterday morning. After the meeting, Nikki said to Mariah, I love you, but we might fight again. Mariah responded, no, we will not. Uh, at this point, Mariah said she doesn't feel comfortable emotionally. But she will continue with the show because she loves the show and she loves mentoring the contestants. Both of these women, by the way, have contracts. Yes. Um, there is a photo shoot scheduled for today and we'll see what the climate is. And then I asked her what the other judges said uh, to, about it and she quoted Keith Urban who said he just wants things to be normal. Uh, her publicist, uh, Cindy Berger, said, for the record, Mariah is doing well. She obviously still has serious concerns, but is hopeful that everyone will act in an appropriate professional manner. She plans to move forward, and she believes this season will be the best ever. That, that expression, emotionally uncomfortable. Yeah. Sure. And do you think, because, you know, I, and I, in no way do I assume that Nikki has control or responsibility for her fans, but I do think there's influence there. So if you're saying something like, if I could, I would this, maybe there would be a statement, I don't know, that she could release to those that really love Nikki to just not try to take their own action in any way as a means of protecting Mariah. Because there are people, I'm just saying, there are people out yes, there. You're right. Maybe it's, there's something she could do to just get anyone out there who... You're right. You're right. Fans you know, of hers who, who this, may be a little off the... Hasn't American Idol now become must-see TV? Truthfully. I mean, it's really I mean, terrible. It's interesting to watch people who are actually actually pretending to like well, each other. Well, but you're supposed to care more about the contestants yeah, you than you are about, about the, the judges. Now. Yeah. That's not supposed judges. to be, I mean, it is well, true. But it did become about the judges plenty of times. Yeah, right. yeah. But also, I don't think that, I mean, they are not doing this. Mariah is not hiring extra security. Mariah is not talking about being emotionally uncomfortable because they're trying to help the race. It's about, it's about, you got two very big egos, and I'm not saying they're a bad thing. They're both are very accomplished. You know, and you got a younger kind of generation, and, and, and I don't want to say that, but anyway, it's two uh, egos coming together, yeah. And, By and, the way, and sometimes Nikki, that's hard. Nikki was on with us on The View last week, yeah. and you know, we would be happy to have her on. But even and when we asked her, well, for them to work. feel that they're threatened, I don't know. That's, that's I thought that was just an idle threat. People say things like that. Not, well, Nicki no. Minaj is not yeah. going to shoot them. Yeah. 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 If you put that in writing, yeah. if you didn't just say it verbally, if you put that in writing, it's a federal offense. If you threaten someone. Yeah. Well, okay. good thing she didn't so write a note and hand it to her. That would have been terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about but a tweet? Say, if I had a gun, I would shoot. That's Here, not Mariah, read assault. this. Just read it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's yeah. sad when you have women who are both a, a big stars. Yeah, yeah. Big stars. Um, and I can under, I think that expression, emotionally uncomfortable. Now you have to say, I mean, you hear us all arguing here. But the truth is that we get off and we get over it. It is very uncomfortable. Well, that's because you all know I can beat your butts. <laughs> so you, we don't have those kind of things. No, it's crazy. After we fight, yeah. we talk about each other's shoes. We that's do. how we yeah. do it. I mean, that's, they it's, do. Well, perhaps it's because this is a little more familial. Maybe in a couple yeah. of years, they'll become closer and it won't seem we as, to go a couple as years. big. I, well, I hope so. I, 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 I do want to thank Mariah for, you know, coming on and talking, uh, talking to me about it. And if Nikki wants to call anyone, I'm sure yeah. we would be happy to take the phone call.